As we listen to the Grad Slam talks today, we might think to ourselves, wow, that was a great talk, or they were so well prepared. And we might think we're being objective. In fact, the judges here are asked explicitly to be objective in their grading. Yet social psychology shows that our human judgment is anything but objective. We're all biased much more than we think. It's called implicit bias because we're not even aware of it. It's just happening. Implicit bias affects everything from prison sentences to medical diagnoses to hiring decisions. I work in the field of educational assessment, specifically standardized language tests. These tests are high stakes. They can determine what classes you're allowed to take in high school and whether or not you're accepted into college or graduate school. Unfortunately, language tests are also affected by implicit bias. Here's how. First, students speak their answers into a microphone. Their speech is recorded, and then the recordings are scored by human raters. Even though the human raters are trained and monitored over time, they're still unwittingly influenced by implicit bias. This means that students who have a particular accent, for instance, may unintentionally be given a lower score than they deserve, and potentially barred from higher education. So what can we do about implicit bias in standardized tests? It's not like we can open up our brain and remove the parts we don't like, except in a way we can. Recent advances in the technology behind artificial intelligence, or AI, offer a solution. Researchers have already shown that it's possible to train a machine to identify and remove certain types of bias in text, which is called debiasing. In my research, I'm applying these debiasing techniques for the first time to standardized language tests. To accomplish this, I first trained a machine to score the English speaking test. Although it's able to score speech as accurately as human raters, it also learned human raters' biases. Now that I have an accurate but biased automated scoring system, I'm teaching the machine how to identify biases and how to stop acting on them. I'll measure how much bias I can reduce, and I'll figure out which debiasing techniques are most effective. My project will help ensure that all students, regardless of gender or ethnic background, are evaluated fairly. And it'll contribute to a larger body of research showing how we can use AI to supplement the shortcomings of our human judgment and help us take small but valuable steps towards a more equitable society. Thank you.